tried. I adjusted the height. It wasn't connecting. It was skipping up to the top. So here we are. Now, let's see. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Oh boy, we're, we're uh, right in the 60 RPM neighborhood. I was only planning on doing 30. So let's turn it down. Again, pointing out that I'm turning the button. Six point two five volts, six point three, five point something. It varies. It stirs it around. We're at point two watts, point three watts, point four watts, point two, point three. I'm gonna skip saying point for just a second. Three, 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 oh, four, 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 three, three, four, three. So we're running point zero, we're running right now about 5.3, 5.5, 5 5.7, under 6 volts. Again, this is our drive. Let's see, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1, so right, we're at about 30 RPM. Now, back to the science, this doesn't seem like a big deal to people. But to move a 19.58 Newton mass at a distance of two feet from a pivot point that's at a 90 degree angle to that torque shaft, which it is, although even if you change it, we're talking about minutiae. So this, as you see this, is mathematically producing 117 watts of power. Did you hear what I was referring to on this scale? Point 0.4. Point. We haven't even, we're not even using one watt right now. And if you say, hey, that's not going 30 RPM, then well, I'll turn the button up. Remember, I can always turn it full. Let's do that. Here, it's full blast off the 9 volt. It does better off the 12s. So let's just see what she does on the 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Well, we're over 30 RPM. It sounds to me like she's speeding up. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one. One one thousand, two one. It's almost a sixty RPM. So, by the way, at sixty RPM, instead of thirty. as much. Well, that's an easy way to say it. It's not RPM, we actually deal with radian per second. But the net concept is the same. So let's see, we're at 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. So yeah, we're like 50 RPM or something. That's well. See that mass? Now when I talk about that many watts in, in that particular mass. That doesn't count the fact that I have it hanging on a steel pipe that has weight all the way down its length. Uh, this is plumbing pipe. And at the end, you see I have a cap that's just like this. You know, that, that weighs something too. So there's actually way more than 4.4 pounds at a variety of distances, all at 90 degrees. So, the scientific reality, for people, those of you who have been sitting there saying, I'm nitpicking this guy to death. Well, I don't know, but you need to nitpick yourself, because there's a lot more mass on this arm. Uh, 
that's rotating in your city. And that's rotating in a base. That's, it's not just free floating. That's in a base. It's not a fancy low friction. Then it has grease in it. It's like perfect grease. You turn it, it's very difficult to turn. So uh, it's not some incredible free floating thing. I can see the rotation to the bottom. And I'm not making a big deal, as you'll see in just a second. So, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. So yeah, we're not at 1600, we don't need to be. It's 117 watts, mathematically, at 30 RPM. And remember, we set the speed. Now, just so you, for info, sorry, I'm going to have myself. We're currently using 0 0.6, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.2, 1 watt, less than 1 watt in, and more than 117 watts out. And uh, quite an impressive boat. Well, it's, it's technically not something that's really been done, at least scientifically shown and proven. But now I want to show you something else. I've added a second arm to the equation. I put another 4.4 pound weight on. Now another two and a half. So I've just added what, 6.9 pounds. And we'll just plug the battery back in. Oh, whoops, spun the wrong way there. It doesn't matter which way it spins, it's just the way the motor is currently plugged in. So, 7 volts, 0 0.2, 0 0.8 watts, there's a 0, 0.9, 0 0.6, uh, 0 7.3 volts, 7.2. Remember, we can't get too crazy, I'm not a, I don't like a volt battery. 0.1 amps, 0.11. 0.6 on the watts, 0.7. We're about the same wattage, which is what always happens with the John device. But folks, as you see this, you'll notice we've now more than doubled the weight that we have. Besides the 4.4 pound and the 2.5 pound plate, we also have another arm, which again is made out of steel. My, my calculations only count the weights, none of them accompanying mass that we're throwing on. So at 30 RPM, yeah, this setup that you're seeing here is 302 watts, scientific watts. So rotate that much mass at 30 RPM at a 90 degree angle, two feet from the pivot point, requires, there's no other way to do that, 302 watts 
to rotate this at 30 RPM. Now let's check where we're at. 1, 1,000, 2, 1. Whoops. We're more like back at our own 50 or 60 RPM, which means this is actually 604 watts at 60 RPM. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1, 1,000, 2, yeah, we're close enough. We'll just settle for 500 watts with, again, almost nothing in. Now, at this point, you're saying, okay, I'll get tired of him pointing that way. Yes, so I'll grab the camera. <laughs> you can come over and look at that thing. See that? And we'll just leave it for a bit. And here, while it's doing that, I'll like kick the weight and so give her a whack. It should have moved up here. Numbers of ways because it had to work to get past that. It's like, hey, <laughs> well, she'll get right back to business as usual. Now, again, I want to specify, folks, this is a 9 volt battery. This tape simply keeps the plus and minus away from each other. The speed controller, some unknown. This 9 volt battery, which is plugged into this port on the dock Watson. Again, I don't need it here. We'll just unplug it for your personal perusal. See, at this speed, we have enough voltage, it's okay. It's just when you start it up and get it going, then it's frequent that you can have this way wigs out. So, that is unplugged in directly to the drive motor. Rotating the torque shaft. I know mean, that's fancy. For some of you guys, I'll try to zoom in. This. Sorry, I'm on a tripod here, so. And there you go. Look, it's the view you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Why didn't he show us this at the beginning, Mildred? I don't know, he just liked that. He's like an evil man, something poor thing was watching. What are you doing? It? Well now we've got a secret. We're gonna we're gonna make these and make tons of money. <laughs> I know you won't, because I'm licensing it incredibly cheaply. Ten dollars in quality prepaid. So like somebody's gonna have to wait. And I'll just walk slowly in front of the camera. Go K U. Okay. So, ladies and germs, well, we're way over 30 RPM, so I don't know what wattage you all were just seeing when I was holding that, but I really don't care because I've seen it a million times. <laughs> and I know you were under two, and I know that you're looking mathematically at way over 300 watts of shaft torque power. Quite impressive. Now, I'll just leave that going. Turn this off for a momentito. I set that up so I don't have to hurt the motor when it spins down. This will actually spin for quite a while because this, this is called the 1000B or balanced variant. And you'll see that it will actually, without anything at the top slowing it, it's going to take some time to slow down and we don't really want to take that much time so anyway you say man that stuff's impressive and it is that's less than one watt of power in and more than well, we can comfortably say four or five hundred watts there but you know these 4.5 pounders are, are neat and i know you've been all looking at 
these. This is a 14.3 pounder. So we're just switching the old Newtons around a tad. And tell you what, we're going to still use Junior. And I know the purists are saying, hey, that's not officially two feet out now, so he needs to do whatever. <laughs> you can yak at me later. And another 14.3. So now we're at 33 pounds of weight. Again, this motor is not really designed as a drive type motor. Uh, I, there's going to be definitely variants where you'll have two, but let's go ahead and count one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. So we're right at about 30 RPM. On the top end, we're using. 1.1, 1 .1, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 1.0, these are watts I'm referring to, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1.0, 0 0.7, 0 0.9, we're at about 6 point something volts, 6.7, 6 6.8, there's a 7, we're at about 0.1 and a half, so we're at about where we've been the whole time, folks. Now we're running 33 pounds. This, this is, as you're seeing right there, that is 884 mathematical watts of power. There's no exception to that rule. You cannot take a shaft and have 14.3 pounds on the end of one. The other's got a 14.3 and a 4.4. You can't rotate that much mass at this speed and use less than 884 watts of power. That's not possible to do. I want you all to understand that. So in that respect, some people always do the magic of a gravity engine because 884 watts, well you heard me talking, but we'll come over for your for your look, see, whatever. Um, yeah. I don't think that's using 884 watts. And you know how I know for a fact it doesn't take 884 watts? Because this motor is only rated on the best day of its junior league existence at 4.2. So I don't think that somehow that little deal, and I really don't think that this 9 volt is, uh, you know, in case you think there's some magic, there's no magic. You saw the magic when he's shorting the two tips together. Yeah, that's what we call magic in the industry. I'm using one watt of power, which is 100 devices. And again, in case you go home tonight, and you're laying in bed, and you wake up suddenly, and it's 2 a.m., and you say to yourself, I bet you that thing's slowing down by now, though.